Hi there, it's Leanne. Today I'm going to show you how to make blackboard paint gift tags which can be reused and they can either have jute ribbons or they can have a macrame hanger. So the materials that you will need for this project are the wooden shape hangers with the little hole to thread through, some acrylic paint or blackboard paint or sharpie or black felt tip, anything that's going to make a nice dark background to write with on with chalk, a brush for the paint and for hanging either the piece of jute or you could use a selection of embroidery threads in different colours. For the embroidery thread scissors and a blunt needle with a big eye to thread the embroidery thread through at the end. So this is acrylic paint that I'm going to use. You can get blackboard paint as well, which works really well. So I've done one side. This is of the wooden gift tags. And now I'm going to do the second side. So I'm just going to take a thin layer. We just want a nice flat brush stroke. Just work it into the grain of the wood. Keeping my brush strokes in the same direction. This is covering pretty well. If you think it's looking a little bit streaky and you can still see the wood through your paint, you can always let it dry, put on another coat. So I'm just smoothing out the brush strokes to get it as flat as possible. And then I'm also just gonna work around the edges, just a little bit on the edges so we don't end up with any blobs on the edge. Okay, so also making sure that this is clear and ready for the hanger. So I'll let that dry. This one I think could do with another coat because it's a little bit streaky. If you don't have any paint, you could use a black permanent marker or black felt tips. Just anything that will give a nice matte background, which you can then write on with chalk. This is a, like a chalk pencil. And so you can see it just works really well. The gift tags can be reused. And then, so I'll leave these to dry and then work on making a decorative lanyard or threading through some jute. So this is the second half of the video where I've painted and let the shapes, uh, the blackboard gift tags dry. So I'm gonna show you how to make a decorative lanyard to go through the gift tag. Because it's a reusable gift tag, I think it's worth spending a bit of time making quite a decorative hanger for it. Um, so I'm gonna use embroidery thread. I'm gonna take this inside color and I'm gonna use about 40 centimeters. And fold that over, put the ends together. Thread it through. And then, so it's double the thickness now, and I'm gonna bring these ends together and tie a knot, leaving about a centimetre or so tail. Good trim. And then separate these ends 
and put two of them going one direction and two the other. So now I'm going to take the colour of embroidery thread that's going to go on top of the central thread. Take about an arm's length, which is about 60 centimetres. And the knot the embroidery thread over. cut ends and the central cord and it's about a centimetre away from the central knot. I'm going to move this out of the way just so we can get started. It's more, the most difficult part of this is getting started with it and once it's going it's much easier. So this is a method of macrame. It's on quite a miniature scale because it's with embroidery threads but basically we're wrapping a cord over a central yarn with a specific type of knot. This is almost like a buttonhole stitch where I'm gonna go over and behind the central cord. Just move any of the spare bits of embroidery thread out of the way and make sure that that long strand is over the top of this loop. Gently pull, and you can see I've got a knot going straight down here, and there's a little knot on the edge. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm putting a bit of tension on this uh, yarn. These get in the way a little bit at first, but once you get going, it will be fine. So again, Pulling that tight so it's sitting next to the other loop. So building up a little line of stitches at the edge, a lot like buttonhole or blanket stitch. So behind the yarn, the central yarn. and I'm going to carry on until I get to the knot and I'll explain a little bit more about how to get past the knot. Okay, so this stitch is now next to the knot. I'm not going to try and go over this. I'm just going to go past it and leave the knot exposed because it's too bulky to fit underneath the stitches. 
The way to make that less visible if you didn't want to see the knot would be just use the same colour for embroidery thread. So I'm using a different colour to make it easier to see. So I've done a single knot on the other side of the main knot there and just making sure that these loose ends are sitting parallel with the inside yarn. And then I'll just keep going to bind, bind these loose ends into the cord. You can always trim these off a little bit once you get to the point where you they're under control and then they will just bind into the thread as you carry on. You can see that the knots are starting to twist and I'll show you this one where you can see the effect much more. It's starting to spiral round. So here I've changed colour that's the original knot so, so the way to change colour is to just tie a knot the usual style snip the end to about a centimetre Take your next colour. Just tie another knot and then carry on. I'm going to trim that it's a little bit long, trim them to the similar length. Carry on binding these loose ends into the main body of the macrame.
So now on the last couple of knots, just to close this gap. And then because it's knotted, you could just trim the end, but I'm going to get a needle and just thread this into these stitches to hide the end. So I'm going to take the needle, it's just a needle with an eye that's big enough to fit the embroidery thread and this is just a blunt one which is actually quite good. So like a tapestry needle would be ideal or a small wool needle. And I'm just going to hook this under a couple of stitches. and then just trim that as close as I can. And so you can see how the knot at the edge is like twisted and you can encourage that a little bit more, just twist around to make a spiral. And that's the finished macrame. Hi, so I hope you enjoyed the project and I thank you for taking part and I'll see you again. Goodbye.